Hey, I Guru fam. I'm here with my aunt, Dr. Majbadar. She's a board certified allergy and immunology physician, and we're going to be going through some high yield USMLE vignettes. So, Dr. Majbadar, we have our first one. A six year old boy develops diffuse urticaria, wheezing and vomiting shortly after eating cake at a birthday party. He is tachycardic and hypotensive. What is the hypersensitivity here? It is a classic type 1 hypersensitivity reaction, which is IgE mediated, which causes mast cell degranulation with exposure to an antigen. That leads to histamine release and rapid symptoms such as urticaria, bronchospasm, or anaphylaxis. Signs of anaphylaxis to look for include wheezing, diarrhea, new rash, and difficulty breathing. All right, vignette number two. A hospitalized patient develops fatigue and dark urine two days after receiving a blood transfusion. What's interesting is on the labs, you get a positive direct antiglobulin test. That is classic type 2 hypersensitivity, which is mediated by IgG or IgM antibodies that bind to the cell surface antigen. That leads to activating complements or a cytotoxic cell and causes cell injury or destruction. Classic examples, things that you need to think about, autoimmune hemolytic anemia, good pasture syndrome, transfusion reactions, and Graves' disease. All right, let's keep going. We have a 24-year-old woman who presents with joint pain and hematuria several weeks after a group A strep throat culture was positive. What hypersensitivity is this? That is type 3 hypersensitivity. In this type of hypersensitivity reaction, circulating antigen antibody immune complexes will develop and they deposit in the tissue, triggering complement activation and inflammation. Classic examples, lupus, serum sickness, PSGN. All right, last vignette here. We have a man who develops an erythematous pruritic rash beneath his watch band 48 hours after wearing it. What type of hypersensitivity is this? This is type 4 hypersensitivity, a T cell mediated reaction occurring 48 to 72 hours after exposure, causing cytokine driven inflammation without antibodies. Classic examples, contact dermatitis, a TB skin test, or type 1 diabetes mellitus. If you're studying for the USMLE, these four hypersensitivities are not only high yield for your exam, but also clinical practice.